What's going on guys, Nick Ross here. Getting in some admiration of beautiful ocean while getting in some BCAs. Now I was never really a big, huge fan of BCAs, but now going vegetarian, I'm lacking about 20 grams of protein that I, um, that I require for my macros per day. So I'm just filling in the gap with some amino acids. So definitely getting in some amino acids because of the diet that I'm on right now. And I find like it's helping me. You know, um, I've been doing the vegetarian diet for about four days now. Lost freaking six pounds in four days. So <laughs> um, calories are still high. I've only cut out meat and I've added a lot more vegetables in my diet. So, you know, six pounds lost, looking more vascular, you know, some kind of vascularity going on. Hmm. But uh, anyways, guys, so let me switch arms. Freaking arm is cramping up right now. So, um, you know, as you can see, I'm getting back in training some legs. You know, if you don't know, quick little history lesson. I haven't trained legs in about a year. A year. And uh, that's because I had a very bad knee injury that prevented me from doing any kind of knee bending. So, my last workout was in July. Like, my real last leg workout was in July of 2015. And I competed on stage in... Uh, in December 2015 so what you saw on the day of the show with my legs those are like that was just leftovers of what my legs were those are leftovers literally like I was probably 75% of my best when I competed because I couldn't train legs I could not train legs you know I could do hamstrings and I could do calves but the quads are so important so you know but now I've been training legs for the past three weeks you know my knee injury is gone I'm like, I'll say 95% recovered. I can actually squat, I can actually train quads, I can actually, you know, do the movements and I can actually get them burning again. Switch arms again, freaking cramping up, man, damn. Um, and within three weeks, I've already gained an inch on my leg, you know, a freaking inch, guys. Like right now, I have a rash on my thigh because my freaking thighs are rubbing together. Like when I walk, they're rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. I have this freaking big, red rash and it hurts it hurts a lot but i like that it's there because that means my quads are growing my thighs are growing i know you guys are going to think oh you can't put on no one inch of you know mass onto your quads you know three weeks all nick you know you're full of shit like i said guys i've not trained quads in literally like i have not had a squat workout in a year okay three weeks ago i had my first squat workout and i've been training legs twice a week for the past three weeks so so far that is six leg workouts my legs are very dominant my quads are probably the best body part that I have on my body they grow very fast so I'm not surprised that they're spawning how they're spawning okay so you know I'm probably gonna show you guys legs you know in a couple days you know kind of show you what what I'm working with right now you know they definitely are downsized but um due to the you know last three weeks of training they're kind of filling back out again I can see it I can see it coming back so I'm excited about that um, so you know I'm glad I'm just happy that I can train again you know I had a you know issue with my back as well you know a couple weeks ago that is gone so for the first time in you know a year I am pretty much injury free and it feels freaking phenomenal okay like I can train how I want to train I can do whatever I want to do in the gym of course I have to be safe and um, I can't go too too crazy but I now have freedom to do pretty much any movement that I want, which feels awesome. I feel like I'm a kid again, a teenager again, with this invincible body, and it's freaking awesome, right? So, uh, switching arms again, man. Freaking old man syndrome. So that's where I'm at, guys. You know, I'm just excited to train again. Um, excited for the new diet. Excited for life right now. You know, life feels so good. And uh, body fat, like I said, gonna be going down a little bit not too much just a little bit so you know might see might see some nice abs come out maybe we'll see what happens with that but um you know definitely gonna be keeping you guys up to date with this little journey uh with this little uh you know i don't want to call it a cut but this new diet journey you know this new diet adventure and um now that i can train how i want to train the physique will change and you know that's what bodybuilding is about right chain the physique developing the physique and um, I'm just excited that I can do that again. So we're finally going to see Nick Ross develop and progress in it's exciting. So thank you for watching the video guys, you know, first episode of the vegetarian journey. Thank you guys. You know, um, like I said, we're going to see how the body responds. I'm going to keep you guys up to date with my strength levels, with uh, everything, you know, recipes, everything. So be looking out, be looking out, okay? 
Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.